I'm Aidan Tinapar, and I'm the CEO of Liberum Biotech. Three development tools drive the synthetic biology revolution today. These are DNA synthesis, sequencing, and protein expression. These technologies have allowed us to build the vibrant biomanufacturing ecosystem that we know today. But while DNA synthesis and sequencing have been addressed by giants like Twist and Illumina, protein expression remains a bottleneck in many labs. Our device aims to address this problem. Protein is far more than the food we eat. Proteins are heroes. Each discovery launches billion dollar industries. They are the keys to a sustainable future and the saviors of human health. So all over the world, scientists are busy engineering proteins to cure disease, make chemistry green and replace plastics. The recombinant therapeutics market alone is now worth over a hundred billion dollars. But making protein is hard. For every idea, for every iteration, you have to re-engineer the genetics of living cells, grow them, break them open and purify. This process is very hands-on and you keep coming back to it over a week or two and you need expertise and expensive equipment that take up a lot of space. Liberum automates the entire protein manufacturing process in a miniaturized device portable for any lab. Our system contains breakthroughs in microfluidics, purification techniques and reagent storage. You can now make proteins in hours with a push of a button. That's at least 10 times faster than the conventional methods. We're making developer tools for protein synthesis to allow more bright ideas to see the light of day. Our business model is to sell this device to research labs along with accompanying cartridges at very affordable prices. Inspired by the ease of use of an espresso machine, we're making single use cartridges that can be recycled after use. By having a razor razor blade model, we plan 85% of our revenue to be generated by selling the cartridges. Making the hardware affordable will lower the barrier to try our product while also encourage repeat purchases of the cartridges. Disruptions caused by COVID have highlighted the real need for our product, even for proteins that are available from traditional suppliers. Customers are demanding an app store for proteins, which we intend to build as we expand. We've made great strides in eliminating cross-contamination, minimizing dead volumes, and making the interface truly plug and play. So scientists in different labs are excited to get their hands on our technology, especially given how fast, simple, and affordable it is. We have a number of organizations who are eager to alpha test our product. People will be using our alpha prototype in their own labs within weeks. These include multiple academic labs, as well as startups and government organizations. Their use cases in structural biology, antibody discovery, and enzyme screening, just to name a few. In fact, as word of what we're doing is getting out, we already have multiple letters of intent totaling over $100,000. There are 6,000 molecular biology labs in North America today that are creating proteins, each of them spending a couple hundred thousand dollars a year on staff and reagents to do it. We are offering them a much better way. From our polling of these likely customers, they want to express three proteins a week on average. This adds up fast in revenue. Each lab would be spending $30,000 a year on cartridges, which would translate to $195 million in sales. But here's the thing. There's 64,000 additional molecular biology labs who aren't currently creating proteins. There are also non-molecular biology labs, like chemistry labs, who've shown interest in our technology. For most, creating proteins is beyond their capability today. But once it's as simple as pushing a button, far more labs will be making proteins. This is just our beachhead market. These researchers are on the cutting edge of science. Once they have validated our technology, we can then target large pharma and industrial biotech. Talking to these labs, what they're most excited about is having full control over their experiments at low cost to be liberated from the current processes. They can do it all in their own labs without having to wait on lead times for shipping samples to a CRO. Faster turnaround and ease of use translates into more discoveries and very little technical expertise is required to run our system. Our device can also make proteins that are toxic to cells, whereas traditional manufacturers are unable to do so in their cell-based platforms. We're moving fast. To enable mass manufacturing, we're designing for injection molding, scaling up our fermentation, and optimizing our strengths. Alpha testing in the next few weeks will lead to beta testing during our seed round and launching our product within a year before raising our Series A. We filed two US provisional patent applications to date. The technology portfolio covers biology, microfluidics, and hardware. 
you also plan on filing additional patents that would make it even more difficult to compete with us. Here's our team. Dr. Party is an assistant professor in the Faculty of Pharmacy at University of Toronto. He's the Canada Research Chair in Synthetic Biology. Ryan is a biomedical engineer, hardware expert, and serial entrepreneur. He's been involved in field testing of microfluidics devices around the world. And my master's program at the Party Lab focused on cell-free protein expression and purification. I'm also a corporate lawyer, and having noticed the rapid fall in the cost of DNA synthesis, I knew synthetic biology is the next big wave, so I embarked on this journey. You also have an incredible advisory board. Dr. Jewett is a professor of chemical and biological engineering at Northwestern. He's the leading authority in cell-free biology. Anyone interested in cell-free is gonna have confidence in what we're doing because of him being on board. Noel jo Joyce was previously the head of design at Hacks and has years of experience working with companies, turning their ideas into manufacturable goods. He's one of the key figures in building Hacks, a reputation for reliably making products. In 30 years, when we look back at the synthetic biology revolution, we want to be one of the things that accelerated that process. Please help us make protein manufacturing a push button process. Thank you.